Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, before we get into your reading, I want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know that a lot of people have been coming to us giving us information about accounts that are being created, whether it's on Instagram, on Facebook, here on YouTube channel, um, of people pretending to be us and collecting payments for readings that they never receive. So if you come across any of those accounts, I highly encourage you guys to report them so that they could be completely shut down. Uh, they are in no shape, way, or form affiliated with us. Uh, if you're curious to know our official social medias, you can go to my YouTube channel on our main page. You have all those links there. Uh, so again, if you come across any of those fake accounts or any requests that you get, with my picture um but it's not my account definitely report it and you know have them shut that out this is getting ridiculous and it's getting out of hand and i'm i know i'm not the only creator i've been seeing a few creators um you know having to deal with this nuisance so again uh definitely report them i've also noticed here on my youtube channel a lot of people coming uh spamming or trying to provide a service or something like that if you come across that definitely report it so that it could be deleted i it's just the nuisance like i said and i got to the point where i was thinking of just shutting down the comments but i don't want to do that to you guys i don't want to you know be unjustly like that and not allow you guys to express yourself so i'm definitely not going to be doing that but again if you do come across those comments um go ahead and report them so that they can be deleted or even blocked all right, let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of June 2021. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you guys doing, Pisces? How is this retrograde treating you guys? I hope it's treating you guys better than me. <laughs> I hope it's treating you more kindly than it has to me anyways let's get into your reading all right pisces we have the world card we have the seven of wands the three of pentacles the eight of pentacles the six of wands okay so there is a cycle that is coming to a conclusion for some of you guys you could have been dealing with a lot of inconsistency a lot of obstacles in the partnership or the relationship the world card does talk about a higher form of commitment. Uh, this is what's been on your mind. Uh, so it could be you, like I said, really putting effort, really putting energy towards wanting to fix uh, certain things that just haven't been right in this relationship for quite a while. Now, the seven of wands is representing your partner, and I still see them really hesitating Um this is a person that the more you speak about commitment, the more they get like cold feet and they have a tendency of reacting in a way of kind of taking action uh, to put you off. So it's almost like it's almost like the moment you talk about commitment or a higher form of commitment, they try the best they can to resist it or they go out of their way to upset you to create arguments only because there are commitment issues here that we're dealing with. Um, the Three of Pentacles does indicate trying to find common ground in this connection or in this relationship. This is, I feel that this has more to do with your energy, Pisces. Like, this is you really, like, swallowing your pride. This is you really putting effort, trying to accommodate them, trying to meet them halfway. I actually see you doing more than halfway, but that's your personal business. Um, this is like really being patient and wanting to, you know, have a balance in this relationship. And I do see effort on your part and I do see effort on their part moving forward. Um, there is some type of achievement, some type of victory that's going to be unfolding. So it's almost like, here's the thing. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. There is a higher form of elevation of commitment. This is something you've been waiting for. You've been wanting, but try the best you can not to push your partner to doing this because the more you push the more they resist so the least you talk about commitment the least you bring that conversation up and fully be present fully enjoy the relationship the partnership fully 
be present in that connection, the more you're going to allow them to see the good side to you. Because I feel that they're seeing you as like you're constantly nagging or you're constantly complaining. And that's something that no one wants to hear, to be honest with you. So what they're telling you here is be more proactive in the sense of being present in the happy moments and embrace that so that they can see that playfulness to you, Pisces, so that they can see, oh, Pisces could have a good time. Oh, Pisces is not so rigid. They're not so focused on trying to convince me of committing to them, that type of energy. And they will slowly start to put in more effort, start to really meet you halfway. Do you see what I'm saying? But try the best you can not to push them to that type of commitment. Allow them to think that they're the ones that are coming up with that idea. Do you see what I'm saying? And when I said think, you get my drift. Let me pull out one more card to get some type of clarification here for the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here, Spirit Guides? Please clarify this Three of Pentacles for me. Why is this Three of Pentacles here for Pisces? Okay. So, you know, th what this is indicating is there is an energy that they may have been dealing with at some point in this relationship that is outside energy. Um, and I feel very strongly like this person has a very strong hold on them. So this could be a past baby father, a past baby mama, someone that influences the relationship or how they view the relationship. So again, if they're sitting there, if it's an ex or something that they're dealing with because there are children involved and they're constantly telling, well, Pisces is crazy, like, you know, they're just not, you know, they're not positive for you, etc. And here you are being triggered because they're being very inconsistent and you start, you know, the crazy of you starts to come out, Pisces, you're kind of giving them the right to express themselves that way. So what they're telling you is you got to be smarter than that. That's for those of you guys that are specifically dealing with outside interference okay what they're telling you is rise to the occasion be smarter um there are ways of showing a person that hey if you don't commit to me and you're just playing games then i will just pull my energy and pull my energy back and give it to someone that is willing to appreciate that type of energy uh without really saying that but doing it through action so again uh, i do see being able to work through this uh for some of you guys deciding to work through it wanting to put effort in this but again try to keep it as uplifting as possible because i feel that the person you're dealing with is like very very much in one foot in and the other out you know what i'm saying like they're not fully convinced that they want to put effort or to make this relationship more stable so again show your good side pisces i mean if this is a relationship that you're really wanting to work out all right my lovelies i wish you guys the very best i hope that this resonates with some of you um if it doesn't definitely check out your moon your venus or uh your sun sign okay all right my lovelies talk to you guys soon bye